Have you ever moved an object just by thinking about it? By willing it to happen? I have. I am not making this up. By Christmas, many more Americans will know what it feels like to levitate an object without even touching it. Two new toys are making real the dream of the ages. Mind over matter. Not too long ago, a man showed up at the Washington Post carrying a mysterious box. He didn't let it out of his sight. Is there an extension cord? I can yeah. use what he held within that box was technology that not too long ago existed only in the realm of science fiction. This fall, it will go on sale for a little more than $100. You start off as a Padawan learner, um, which is the easiest level in the game. The man carrying the mysterious box was Andrew Schroff, representing the toy manufacturer Uncle Milton Industries. Its force trainer toy will allow people all over the world to harness the power of the brain to levitate a ping pong ball. This is so ridiculous. That's my colleague Ellie Schweitzer there trying to keep the ball afloat. Mattel is coming out with a competitor toy called MindFlex. What these machines do is read the electrical signals coming out of your brain. The headset you wear contains a simple EEG machine, an electroencephalograph. The mind over matter technology takes the brain signal and transforms it into computer language. Then, when the computer is connected to any simple mechanism, you are controlling that mechanism with your mind. In the case of this ping pong ball toy, you concentrate real hard on any one thought. You could imagine the sound of a single guitar chord or visualize the flame of a candle. The harder you concentrate, the faster the fan rotates and the higher the ball rises. Lose your concentration and the ball drops to the bottom. Mind over matter technology is so strange that my editors all thought I was crazy to believe it could work. So we brought the force trainer to their offices to let them try. And try they did. Begin, you may. <laughs> Level one. I suspect, like my editors, many people will be completely weirded out by this mind over matter technology. And I don't blame them. Yikes! But the applications are almost limitless. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, is funding very sophisticated mind over matter technology because an F-22 jet fighter is a very difficult machine to fly with a joystick. How much better, they think, if you could control the plane with your brain. DARPA is also making amazing progress creating artificial arms and hands that can be controlled by your brain. Their goal, to allow you to play the piano or pitch a fastball as well as you did before you lost your limb. Meanwhile, here we are, levitating ping pong balls. I told my college freshman daughter about this, expecting her to think it was lame. But no, she said, this is amazing. It's going to be the biggest thing to hit colleges since the Frisbee. This is going to revolutionize beer pong once and for all. That's really weird. Congratulations. <laughs> That's the first consumer object that allows you to... Let's to physical let it really mind. weird. Yeah. <laughs> 200 years from now, we'll look back and say, this is where it all began. I'm Joel Garrow with The Washington Post.